This video is part of my on-site photography series. In this video, we're going to look at Blackling Hole Waterfall in County Durham in the north of England. This particular location is very good if you have mobility issues as it requires minimal walking. We're going to look at how to get there, what's there to photograph, and what's nearby to photograph. We'll start by looking at some maps of the area. Blackling Hole Waterfall is in the north of England between Durham and Appleby. The closest village to the waterfall is Woodland, which is west of Hamsterley, and the waterfall sits in the Hamsterley Forest on the southwest side. Woodland is on the B6282. You will need to take the road towards Lunton Hill. Two roads go out of Woodland that could take you there. I would take the one on the west side of the village, but you can just as easily take the one by Malin Farm if you are coming from that direction. Here is a picture of the turn on the west side of Woodland. It has a sign posting for Hamsterley Forest clearly visible. The second turn is also posted, but not as well. This is a picture of the turn. There is a small blue sign to the right you cannot see in the picture. You will follow this road into the forest all the way to the end where you will find a car park that sits right next to the waterfall. This is a video as you drive into the car park. The waterfall is literally just below the bridge. The area is mainly used by hikers and mountain bikers. As you can see, you have some nice scenery by the river. We visited this in early April, so the area wasn't as green as it could be. You are walking just feet from the car park to see the waterfall, so very little walking involved. If you want to get down close to it, you will have to navigate the steep but short hill. Looking back up the stream, you can see that it has a lot of potential for good photography. Please excuse my finger. It's one of my bad habits. Down by the waterfall, we can see we have two plunges. There's the first on the top, which is a small plunge right up under the bridge. And the main plunge is, plunge is maybe six feet into the pool. You will definitely want to have a neutral density filter with a polarizer on sunny days as there's not much overhead vegetation to diffuse the light. This will make it harder to get a slower shutter speed and more importantly, you'll get a lot of glare on the water if you don't have a polarizer. When we visited the area, it hadn't received a whole lot of rain. If I could, I would have visited after it had been wet. I think that the entire rock face here would be covered by the waterfall if we had. So let's take a look at some of the pictures I took while I was up there. Uh, just to put in a plug for my other video on how to shoot waterfalls, if, if you check that out, it's, uh, it will provide you a lot of techniques that I use as far as whenever I'm doing this type of photography. So There are waterfalls both upstream and downstream from Blackling Hole Waterfall. A lot of them are probably easily accessible via mountain bike or hiking. Remember when shooting waterfalls, you want a very slow shutter speed, high f-stop numbers, and you want to get low. You use a neutral density filter, and that will help you slow down the shutter speed. Remember before, whenever I told you I thought whenever it was wet up here that this waterfall would actually cover that entire rock face? Well, I wanted to share this picture with you, and I found it out on the mynorthpenions.co.uk. And as I was saying before, as you can see in this picture, that the entire rock face is covered whenever it's wet up there. So if you can time your visit whenever there will be, like after a rainstorm or something, I think that'll probably be, give you the best results. Well, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.